Hello, this is Brian Lawfer, Vice President of Operations at Aspire Technologies, the developers of QuoteWorks sales quoting software. This video will demonstrate the new recurring revenue functionality available in Build 3 and higher of QuoteWorks version 4.5. Recurring revenue is used in almost every industry, whether you are in lawn care with weekly yard cuts, an ISP with monthly internet access, an alarm company with quarterly monitoring fees, or a software company with annual maintenance. This new feature will work for you. To start off with, QuoteWorks has added quote level contract start and end dates over on the sale info tab here. This will enable you to set the contract dates in one place. Uh, we've also added the ability to set the contract start and end dates on a per line item basis. So um, if you had three line items on a uh, three items on a quote that were reoccurring, you could set them independently. Um, but the benefit of having it at the quote level is because a lot of times customers will come back and say, you know, really I want uh, the contract to start next month, not this month. So you, you only need to set it in one place as opposed to on those three places. Okay, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to go ahead and start the contract today and we'll go maybe a year from today. And you'll notice that I was using keyboard shortcuts but you can also use the F2 key to bring up an actual calendar so you can select um, uh, you know, from the calendar what you want the start and end dates to be. Okay, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back over to the document items tab here and we'll go ahead and uh, add some monthly monitoring. Okay, and we'll go ahead and put in a unit cost of $45, and you know we'll mark it up 99%. All right, so we've got our item on the quote. You'll notice that the subtotal here is $89.55. So to make this item recurring, what I'm going to do is I'm going to right-click on the item and go to Line Attributes. Uh, for existing QuoteWorks users, you'll notice that we have a new option here for Is Recurring. So I'll go ahead and say Yes, and we can select what our billing cycle is going to be, whether it be we weekly, monthly, quarterly, or annual. And for this example, I'm going to use monthly for our monthly monitoring fees. And then I have the, the option here to include the first payment in the document total. If I do not check this checkbox, it will not be included in the subtotal. If I check it, it will. So for this, this example, I'm not going to check this checkbox. And like we talked about before, um, we do have contract dates um, per line item. Um, like we have here, or for the entire uh, from the entire document, um, an example of why you may want to still use item level um, contract dates as well, um, which is more uh, a more advanced option, is uh, you may have like a promo rate for maybe the first three months of a service, and then another rate for the last nine months of the service, for example, um, and that's why you might have different start and end dates. So for this example, though, I'm going to go ahead and use the contract dates from the document and click on OK. So that's adding a, a, a recurring item on the fly, but you can also add recurring items from a product database as well. Uh, so, you know, for example, uh, we may have web hosting. Uh, so I could go ahead and double click on our economy hosting here. Um, and then maybe we, for this quote example, we may want to add a, a computer. So I'll go ahead and add the Dell Vostro here. And uh, I'll go ahead and get pricing from Tech Data. Go ahead and add that item to my quote. And, uh, you know, maybe uh, I also need an, another monitoring. Uh, so we'll go ahead and add um, monitoring for that PC. Go ahead and append that to my quote. All right, so um, as you can see um, in gold here for the extended price, we've got all of our items that are recurring. Um, our first item here, the monthly monitoring fees, is, is monthly. Um, our next item here is monthly with the first month included, as you can see down here. We've got a regular line item. And then we also have our quarterly uh, recurring with the first quarter included. And we've got our subtotal of 916.14. And uh, what I'm going to do is I'm going to quickly save this quote. Um, if you're using ConnectWise, uh, for example, um, the recurring revenue can automatically be sent to the opportunity as well. So we'll go ahead and save this. I'm not going to check the option to send it over to ConnectWise, however. Okay, so we're, we're now saved. Um, so let's take a look uh, at what this quote actually looks like. And I've got a recurring um, item, uh, layout here that I can, I can use, and I just click on Preview. And you'll notice that we've got monthly monitoring fees, and it's not included in the quote, so I don't have the normal you know, unit price and extended price. Um, for the items that are recurring that do have um, 
uh, that are included in the subtotal, you'll notice that they are first monthly payment and what the, the billing cycle is going to be, whether it be monthly or quarterly down here. Also, you'll notice down at the bottom, our investment in addition to the grand total will be 12705 billed monthly and the 11250 billed quarterly. Okay. So that's that's what the quote would look like when sending it to the customer. But not only is it important to be able to create quotes and proposals with rec recurring items, but it's also important to know when those contracts are expiring. QuoteWorks has built-in reporting so you can create reports with this information as well. So if we go up to reports and management reports, you'll notice that I have a report here um, with contracts expiring with recurring items. So if I preview this, I can set a start and end date for my contract. So somewhere within that date range. Um, so in, this example, uh, this contract is expiring on 1231, and so are these other ones as well. So I can see what those items are that are set to expire. So that way, as a sales rep, I can go back and, and contact these companies and see if they want to re-up or renew um, that, that, um, that recurring item with me. Okay, so I'd like to thank you for uh, watching this quick QuoteWorks demonstration. If you have any questions about this functionality or anything else about QuoteWorks, please feel free to give us a call or send us an email.